Good afternoon traders, 18th of October 2018. Crispin here from FX Agro Trader. Time is 13.29, British summer time. Okay, so we're looking at FX currency meter strength analysis and kind of a mixed picture today. Uh, nothing particularly clear in terms of where to go. We've got a strengthening dollar, it looks like, on the hourly and four, four hourly time frames and a weak Swiss franc. What we can sometimes do is by looking at the history data of how this data is changing over time, that can sometimes give us a bit of a clue. So I'm looking at the hourly data log here and I can see sterling, let's just make sterling a little bit clearer. So I'm just gonna bring out the sterling foreground here and make that white so we can see it a little bit clearly. So yeah, you can see the dollar has been strengthening up a bit over here, and you see also sterling going from the weakest currency to beginning to like pick up a little bit. Kiwi dollar weakening. So yeah, difficult really to kind of know exactly where to go with this. I mean, you could potentially look at USDCHF. So let's have a look at that chart. See, so let's go to a 15 minute time frame so yeah US dollar strengthening up considerably on Swiss franc there what you might want to do is put some pivots over the top of that so you can see potentially in a good area would be a central pivot entry which would line up with that area of previous resistance so that would be a nice place to kind of go long uh, waiting for a pullback obviously um, what, are, what else can we see on the index data? Let's have a look. Kind of hard to see really. I mean, maybe euro dollar. Let's have a quick look at the euro dollar. 30 minute euro dollar chart. I might be tempted in a way to, again, use our pivots to see what's what. In terms of confluences, it's quite a nice confluence on the central pivot and that previous area of support down there, round about there. And we've seen that follow through. So. Nice entry would be to, to sell off a retest of this central pivot, or alternatively, you could auto trade off a trend line if you wanted to. If you draw a trend line through this area here, this kind of little downtrend on the 30 minute chart, and you could use one of our tools called Trendline Trader Pro to automate that process. Um, if anyone's wondering what this data is down here, it's basically an automated triple moving average crossover system and I'm using some market adaptive technology which we've created and that allows us to stay out of the markets in range bound conditions so this is something which I'm running some tests on at the moment anyway that's uh, for another day thanks very much for watching